today we talk about automation. Yes? What areas of my business can I automate? Well, that's a lot of areas. Uh, email marketing, social media scheduling, uh, even there are copywriting tools nowadays uh, with artificial intelligence, sending invoices, um, sending reminders, um, having um, uh, proposals uh, signed off. You can uh, automate that. Well, that's, that's already quite a lot of areas. I might come up with another one. Well, why should you automate? Eh? Well, you can just hire a VA because automation is, is some sort of delegation as well. Eh? It stops you from doing repetitive tasks over and over and over. And I don't know what, you, what about you, but for me, it's like, hey, I don't uh, particularly like doing the same things again and again and again and again. I don't get energy from that. So then uh, the first thing I always look at, can I automate it? And the reason why is because it's often a lot cheaper than outsourcing or delegating it. Plus, when it's set correctly, automation will not make a mistake. Yeah, eventually there are bugs in a system or in a platform that can happen, unfortunately, but um, it doesn't make a mistake. There's another thing you can automate, scheduling your appointments, really easy. What's a reasonable amount to spend on automation? Well, I don't know how much I spend. I think I have, I pay monthly, it's all on my credit card. I think there's about 20 tools I use every month. Uh, that's quite a lot. Um, it it should, shouldn't be that expensive. So there are a lot of big companies, they charge a lot, but usually there are also smaller and newer companies who are cheaper. Often the big tools or the big platforms where you pay a lot for, you're not using everything that, that, that it offers. So then it's, it's a waste of paying too much. There's a really good platform you do need to join, which is called AppSumo with two Ps. Uh, they launch new startups with automation tools every week. Um, and often they offer you lifetime deals. Now, when you buy such a platform and when you're a beginner, often it, it, it's good enough. We are now noticing that we, I have a lot of these tools with a lifetime deal, so you only pay once and then you have no monthly recurring fees, so it really saves a lot of money. Uh, and if you don't like it, you can uh, uh, cancel it after two months, so you really have a lot of time to test it and try it out. When you buy the platform or the tool, uh, sometimes they don't have all the features yet that you need, but usually they're young startups and they add, uh, keep adding new, new tools. So we have a few things that we bought through AppSumo that we love a lot and they keep adding stuff, but we also have quite a few tools that I'm not using anymore because the business has grown too far and they, they don't um, grow with us. So what's a reasonable amount? A reasonable amount uh, for me when a tool is more than 50 US a month, I think it becomes quite expensive. Um, I always look at my fixed expenses. Hey, we're just coming out of the, the COVID-19 period here in our country, everything is open again. But I re seriously had to reduce my expenses uh, when COVID started. So, um, that's why I'm always very, very focused on keeping my fixed expenses, all the expenses that you have to pay every month, even if you have no paying clients, as low as possible. But you know, if you make a lot of money, well, why, why don't you, uh, why, why do you care about it? If, if that, if your fixed expenses uh, are quite a lot, so it all depends on how much uh, revenue you have, basically. What bookkeeping tools do I recommend? Well, I have a Dutch bookkeeping tool, uh, it's Moneybird, but I think they are also international. So at least I, I can add it to, inter no, I don't think they are because it's, it's for the Dutch bookkeeping system, for the Dutch VAT, the Dutch tax. 
Um, there is, uh, what's it called, QuickBooks. I know many people use that. That's an international bookkeeping platform. Um, and many uh, bookkeepers work with that. So if you want to outsource it, it's not that complicated. For payment platform, I highly recommend Stripe because you can set recurring payments, you can cash with PayPal, with, uh, you can charge credit cards. That's really uh, convenient. So yeah, there's just so much to it to, um, to automate tasks because it saves you a lot of time and money eventually because everything your automation tool can do, you don't need to uh, outsource to an expensive VA. Um, so, but you know, automation, that's just one little thing that you need to do to be able to scale and grow your business. There's nine areas and I've created the Women's Blueprint to Business Success. You know about it. Uh, the nine areas have lots of sub areas, 54 areas. I can help you with 54 areas. They, you need to work on all of those areas if you really want to scale and grow your business. And don't buy into people who say, if you change this one thing, your business is going to skyrocket overnight. That's never going to happen. It's a lie. Um, so don't believe that. It's hard work growing a business and there's a lot you need to do. Um, and if you're serious about scaling your business and if you want to know if I can help you, well, just schedule a quick 15 minute call. There's, I won't be selling you my products, I won't be pitching, it's solely getting to know you and if I am able to help you and even more important, can I deliver on my promise that I will help you a guaranteed double income with your business in a year? Um, and I need to know that before I'm even going to, to, to talk to you about my sales pitch. And if we, if we both love each other, if we both like each other, that's the most important thing for me because I need to love the people I work with. I want to love my work, you know, I want to inspire people and I want to be inspired when I work with people. So bye bye for now and keep posting in the group, keep commenting wherever. I'm always there to support you, to encourage you, to enthusiasm you and to answer your questions. All right, bye bye for now.